we have encounters going on everywhere. We caught two Pakistani terrorists alive just uh, last month. You have more than a thousand ceasefire violations in the sense of not only firing in terms of guns, but shelling in some areas of Poonch and other areas of Kashmir. When such areas are facing ceasefire violations, more than thousands, UFA agreement has failed. Uh, the NSA Sattaj Aziz from Pakistan has said Indo-Pak cricket cannot happen in such conditions. We cannot just have fun here when our soldiers are fighting for us. The point here is no one is opposed to Gulam Ali Ji. Everyone loves his songs, ghazals. Everyone is a fan of his art. We have art all over the world. But the point is, can two nations really enjoy in different parts of the nations? Today, if the people of Jammu and Kashmir are facing all the atrocities of terrorists and we have terrorism coming to all parts of India, can we really afford to sit here and enjoy where our soldiers face the brutal atrocities and ceasefire violations in the middle of the night? We really have to feel the sensitivity towards the soldiers who are giving day and night uh, vigilance or vigil at the borders. We've never opposed delegation level talks. Uh, when Vajpayee Ji went to Pakistan, all the Pakistani counterparts come to India. So we're never against peace talks. But terrorism and cultural ties cannot go hand in hand. Yes, of course, all the artists and cultural ties are innocent. But the people killed on the Indian side who face all these atrocities from the terrorists are innocent too. And if we have to do that, if we have to reach a level of boycott at some point where we have to stop terrorism, I think we need to take a strong stand against terrorism, especially this year when the terrorist activities have increased in the valley and ceasefire violations.